Welcome back to another rough day here at Dog Days. Today we are going to show you the process of grooming a Border Collie. This is our dog, Izzy. She's a little bit psycho and a little bit sweet. So make us look good, Izzy. First, we're going to start out with a little cuddle. We're going to start her out in the bath. This isn't completely new to Izzy, so all should go well. So now I'm going to go ahead and just set the temperature on the little knobbies here because we don't want to shock poor Izzy's system. We don't want it too hot, not too cold. It's kind of something in between. And I'm going to wet her entire body so when I put the shampoo on, it lathers and she will be easier to clean that way. Now I'm using diluted tearless shampoo. It's good, safe, protect those little eyeballs. This is good. I'm charming the snake. This is the calmest you'll ever see, Izzy. And here we have the Ultra Mild Puppy Shampoo. Flavors Cherry, one of my favorites. I think it's one of Izzy's favorites too. If the dog's being calm like Izzy is, I really like to get in there and give a good massage so they get their money's worth. Really get those ham hocks. Izzy's being very, very submissive today. This is a completely new look for her. Usually she's dumb. During the bath, I like to spend an extra little amount of time cleaning around the ring of the bum hole. <laughs> There's nothing worse, in my opinion, than being surrounded by hot ass while you're trying to do a blow dry. And here we have Izzy wearing a happy hoodie, which kind of looks like a little toad, very cute toad. They're very excellent for noise cancellation because dogs have very acute hearing, so this just helps to mute that. Izzy's not really shedding much, so there's not really much hair to blow out here. Maybe a little dandruff. That's the look of a dog that just realized she's in for a life of grooming with two moms for dog groomers. Now we're at the head, Izzy's most hated part. When I get to the head, I just make sure to take off the nozzle and turn the dryer down just a little bit just so it's not so scary to the dogs because this seems to be the part that every dog hates the most. I even throw in a little goo goo baby talk. Although I feel like a bit of a fool doing it, it seems to work for Izzy. Seems just what she needs.
Now it's time for the pot of cure. It's a bit underwhelming because Izzy is kind of show ready. There's not much hair to come off for paws, but get what we can. Now that Izzy's all done her groom, looks like she wants to have a little play with Belinda over here. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and we'll smell you later.